Hi, this is Jim Hensel, Portland, Oregon. I want to show you a, something called the Voodoo Knot that I learned from my friend Marcel. So it's a, a self-tailing um, tensioning or hitching knot. So over here, I'm going to tie, in this case, it could be, you need a loop in the line. So it could be a, uh, just about anything. I'm going to tie a, a figure eight, running figure eight loop on the end, just a figure eight knot with a loop. Here you could also tie a, uh, a I don't know what this knot is called, where you loop it this way and then tie it. It doesn't really matter. You just need a loop in the line. The figure eight is pretty easy because you're just doing an overhand knot and it goes on to a, oh, how do I do this? In a way where you can see it. There we go. So that's a figure eight knot that ends up with a loop. Like so, okay, so I'm going to put a figure eight knot, a loop on this end over here. So there's a loop. Now, what I'm trying to do is tension it to something that's over, over here. So what I'm going to do is take this line and put it through the loop so I can pull it on through. Then I'm going to take the other end of the line wrapped around something else and take it through that loop. And we've all kind of seen something like this where you're trying to trying to uh, you know put a loop up here and you need like a trucker's knot be cinching it up. So this this is a loop that went through this and the other the end of it then has gone around and come back here. So then I just take that so that whole thing is up close to the loop here and then tie that off. So I'm just going to use a couple of half hitches for the moment because I'm going to show you another way to do this in a minute. And then to, to tension that, um, so these are the two lines that made the loop and then this is the line that's going to the other end and then coming back and being tied here. And so we just pull on, on this line, which is coming from the other end, but I'm actually pulling on the piece of the loop and then just moving this along. This is tightening this all up, tensioning it all. Um, so I'm going to do it a different way that may, may make uh, more sense. So I'm going to take it apart here. Here we are back to just a bare line. Okay, so what I'm going to do is make a clove hitch. That's all I've done. Just taken and made a clove hitch there. I'm going to put a carabiner through that clove hitch to make a. Now I've got a loop there on that line. So that's really no different than then using the figure eight knot makes a loop. And I'm going to run this line through. So now I have the same sort of loop that I had before. And then I'm going to put a carabiner in the end of that loop. And then so this is the there's the line going to the other side, and here's the... Then I'm just going to tie this off with a couple of... Okay, so this line is... The, the, this line is coming around the... Around, so the line is coming here around 
through this carabiner and then back through this carabiner and down and then coming back here and getting tied off. And then to tighten it, you can just grab a hold of this carabiner and pull and it tightens up and it stays in equilibrium. You don't have to, you can tighten, put it anywhere you want. You don't have to, uh, to uh, tie it off. Just as held by the equilibrium, the fact that the, this rope and this, the, both ends of this rope are, are uh, being held together.